I started off playing um, youth football and I continued playing um, all the way through high school. I had two fantastic coaches that really stood out to me, which were Coach Calvin Short and Coach Don Porter. They were inspirational to me. They were a huge source of encouragement. From those guys, I learned the most about, you know, you're out here, you're a part of this team, but I want you to know that it's gonna go, it's gonna go longer than, than just this team. We, we've kind of forged something that's gonna last for a lifetime. Born in the rural town of Stanley, Kentucky, Keith Bowling moved with his family to Tennessee at the age of seven after his stepfather took a job in a Tennessee Valley Authority power plant. The move enhanced their lives, but his mother made sure the wisdom of their meager beginnings was not lost. My mom was a big believer in the adage that it, it's easy to, to put money towards a problem but it's much more effective and it's much more valuable to those receiving as it is giving to get in there and give your time to, um, to the things that you feel like are important or to the people that need help. Keith put that adage into practice as he forged his career path, first as an insurance salesman. Then in 2004, he joined Regions and began his successful journey into banking. I kind of came into retail banking when I was 35, so I had a lot of valuable experience. I kind of quickly moved to being a branch manager, and as I developed in that job, a, a lady here at the bank named Laura Roberts, um, she spent an immense amount of time with me, teaching me, you know, how to be a banker. And uh, I was able to, you know, launch myself over into commercial banking. And when I got there, you know, it, it's hard for me to forget where I've come from. And what I found is that uh, as, as I spend time and help that branch network, it's amazing how much of that circle comes back to me because many good customers in my current book have come from a referral out of that branch network. One of those referrals was to an organization called Souls for Souls, a nonprofit that provides a variety of opportunities to serve the less fortunate with footwear. But when Keith met with the CEO, he found them to be in dire straits financially. I came on board in October of 2012, and Souls for Souls was nearly bankrupt. I think if we looked at it technically, we probably were bankrupt. The business model was broken. Our mortgage was upside down. We very quickly wound up in the troubled asset part of a different bank, which only increased the pressure. And while we were trying to fix the underlying model so that we could uh, generate some cash and stay in business, we also had to work on those bigger financial issues. And as he gave us the chance to tell the story and show the progress and talk to the rest of the team, he believed in what we were doing and he went to bat for us. And that confidence that he showed us allowed us to then do things in the business to grow faster and get back on the right track. I think there was a big part of our team here who like, didn't want to let Keith down, <laughs> right? He took a risk for us. And so there were lots of reasons we wanted to be successful in turning this thing around. And one of them was, this guy gave us a chance, we really have to take advantage of that. I think companies in general are starving for someone like Keith to come in, be that partner that they so desperately need and want. And he really takes that as a personal challenge for him. Whether it's a small company or one of the largest companies in Nashville, he really wants to go in, learn everything he can about the company, and really be a partner and a resource for the long-term game. Having a banker that's vested in your business, understands what you do, understands the challenges you face, is extremely critical. And Keith is the kind of banker that can even anticipate these things. There's times he will reach out to me and say, hey, I noticed it's about this time of year. Do you need a line of credit to get through this slower season? Or, I know this is your busy season. Is now the time to make some extra payments and pay that debt down a little further? He's very engaged with what we do and having someone that pays attention and cares is very important. Whether it's inside the bank or outside the bank, you never find him seeking recognition. Outside the bank, we have discovered more and more Keith constantly reaches in his own pocket to help others that don't have as much as any of us. His generosity is no more evident than the time and energy he spends supporting East Nashville Athletics a little league organization that makes sure kids have a place off the streets to play and grow. One of the most beautiful parts about East National Athletics is the economic diversity that we have, so uh, it, it just doesn't matter. If they can afford it, uh, afford the fee, they pay it. If not, uh, there's no fee. 
So, you know, we, we try to encourage everyone and we truly believe that sports is one of the only places you, you can find, especially youth sports, that's on a recreational level where you can have all walks of life. Keith is one of the biggest cheerleaders in the community. All you'd need to do is be down here on a Saturday when baseball's being played and you'd hear him across all three fields. And, and so that, that, that's the most obvious sign, but, but clearly there's more to that than just being a vocal coach out here and encouraging kids. He's really the perfect person to have in your organization because he doesn't just provide ideas, he doesn't just provide money, he doesn't just provide sideline help. He commits to it and shows up in sort of all facets that are necessary to run an organization like this. He cares about every child in this program. And it's not just about them being good on the field. He doesn't care if they win or lose. What he wants is them out here playing. I wish my mom and my dad were alive to see it because I think they would be um, incredibly proud of, um, of their grandchildren, of their son, and of, of what we've been able to build down there. It is our little oasis of fun and tons of life lessons are passed along and experienced down there. And uh, I just really wish that they were they're here to see it because um, I think it's a culmination of, of her, um, her message of um, it, uh, much more valuable to get involved than it is uh, just to put money towards an issue.